There are too many people planning. Planning, 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 blueprint, 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 idea, idea, idea. That's not gonna make you successful. That's not that's not gonna help you create. That's not gonna help you build. That's not gonna help you manifest. Your plan, when it comes to success, your plan is is four percent, five percent of it. Now, look, I cannot determine success for you. I can only talk about the success that I've achieved on my scale. And I can tell you that planning is four to six percent of it. You do need a plan. You need a little bit of a plan. But what you need is inspiration that comes from within. What you need is a desire to create a a will to win. What you need is a massive amount of action. Person who wants to create, why not put out the best body of work possible and then repeat and then repeat and then repeat. You have a job and your quota is, let's say, 10 contracts a month. Why are you not aiming for 20? You want to be a best-selling author, but nobody knows your name. Nobody knows your work. You want to be a a hit, a, a songwriter. You want to make hit songs, but no artist know of your writings. When are you going to take the action necessary to get in front of people? to get in front of people who can make decisions, people who can make influence. And I'm, and I'm going to give you some, some tips. I'm going to give you a tip here. We live in a generation where everybody wants to be an influencer. And we live in a generation where even companies and brands think, oh, I need to get in front of some influencers. Everybody's a fucking influencer. Everybody. You're an influencer. You, you have influence. Everybody is an influence. Stop focusing on trying to become an influencer. Stop focusing on trying to find influence and develop your own influence. Believe in yourself. Develop your own influence. You don't need someone else to validate you right now. You need you to validate you. Why would someone else validate you when you haven't validated you? Why would someone else believe in you when you haven't believed in you? Why would someone else take a chance on you and invest in you when you have not? You know, there's this basketball player who has a, a you know multi-million dollar contract. Kevin Durant is his name. And uh, I saw an article. I didn't read the whole article because I, I really don't have time to read articles about this man's life. But I saw an article where he invested in, I believe, a pizza company and an airline company. Now, I could be wrong if you're a Kevin Durant stand. That's cool. I could be wrong. Why is he, but the point is, why is he investing in these companies? He's investing in these companies because these companies have already invested in themselves. They've already built a platform. They already have a working business. They already have consistent customers. They're already positive on a balance sheet. They're already making income. They're already making revenue. So he's investing his money into it because he believes in what they've created and he wants to get a return on his investment. So you have to realize Nobody's going to invest in you if you have not invested in yourself. I don't need to take any more of your time. Four minutes is enough of your time. Get off your couch. Get off your ass. Get going. Get motivated. Get inspired. Get what you want out of life. Create it. I'm checking out of here. I'm Sylvester McNutt III. I'm a best-selling author of seven books. I'm a motivational speaker. I'm a guy who loves life. I'm out of here. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on the next side.